Hi, visual arts students. The topic for today is mixed media, and that just means using more than one material. So many of the art projects we do in class are already mixed media. It just means you're using maybe paint with oil pastels or paint with paper to do a collage or something like that. So it's just basically means using more than one material to make your art. So first of all, let's just take a look at Google Images to see a few Im examples of mixed media. Let's see what they come up with. So right away, I can see that there's a lot of collage. Um, some may be using fabric and paint and some using, oh, here, this one's using newspapers to make a collage with some um, painted figures on the front. And, this one looks like it's using some, maybe, um, I would say probably yarn dipped in glue or something like that. So there's lots of really nice ideas for mixed media. It's something that you can really use to get very, very creative. I do have a project in mind for you today. And the project that I have in mind for you is going to use oil pastels and watercolor paint. If you want to mix it up a little bit and you aren't limited to the materials I used, you can add some other elements if you want to. If you want to put in some fabric or paper to collage a little bit, you can. Now I'm going to suggest that you do this project on thick watercolor paper as the paper in your regular sketchbook won't be sturdy enough for this. It will probably just melt. So um, get some thick watercolor paper or even some cardstock or something of that nature, really heavy. So um, So when you choose a reference picture, you're not necessarily trying to do it exactly like the reference picture. You are trying to, you're just using it for inspiration. So I decided I wanted to use this fish, but then maybe not this fish here. So I just, I used this one and then I stuck a couple of other fish heads in it as well. So I'll just go to my Inuit art thing here just show you how I went through this. So I took the reference picture here that I wanted to use and then I just started sketching it out and I was using a black oil pastel here. It is going to be in watercolor but I just wanted to outline it. Um, you could use a marker or something like that if you wanted to. Um, so just once you get your sketch, and there's my original fish, and then I stuck a couple of other fish heads in, just because I thought that was nice balance. And remember, you're not going for the original. Nobody's ever going to do the original like the original artist. So you just want to um, do your own art, basically. So once I got it all sketched in with uh, oil pastel, I decided that was good enough. I'm going to go over it again later because when I'm painting, I'm probably going to go over these lines a little bit. But the good thing about oil pastel is that it resists water. So you won't really, it won't really go over it too badly. So here, now that I've drawn it all out, I've got some paint and I'm just painting over the lines that I made. Okay, so... Um, this is sideways, but so it's oil pastel, and then I painted over it with watercolor, the lines. And then I was really interested in this ombre effect, so all you need to do is to think of colors that go together on the color wheel, so, and then just do gradients. So I started here with green, and then with a light green, and then a yellow, and then I was doing the same on the fish body here. And... Then here I picked three colors that go together, like blue and red and purple. And then I made a mistake here, so I pointed that with my finger. You really do need to be careful of things like that 
when you're doing watercolor because in acrylic painting it's really easy to cover over your mistakes in watercolor it's not so easy so but I realized I made a mistake so I just had to make a plan of how I was going to deal with that and so I did as I started coloring this in like it was a section when it's not it's just the fish's open mouth so just be careful of that then you can see that once I got everything painted like I had painted over quite a bit of the lines again so then what I took was a black and this looks like a pencil crayon but it's not it's a watercolor pencil um, you could just take black watercolor on a brush but because I had this black watercolor pencil I just used it it was it's easy have you ever seen those black watercolor pencils there they um, they're just like watercolor paint in a compressed form so when you add them to water they turn into watercolor so uh, I, I just use that to go back over it so once I went back over the whole thing now I knew I had to make this this um, background really black really dark so I figured I may as well stick to the ombre so I kept going with that just kind of using blue and green and um, filled it all in then I took my hand sanitizer because alcohol and water don't really mix together right when you use alcohol it resists the, the watercolor paint I don't think this would work with acrylic paint but it does work with watercolor and then I just dribbled it on to kind of make it look bubbly so you can kind of see and then as I let it sit after I took this picture because it was still wet here it even reacted a bit more than that so that was kind of a cool effect another thing you can do is you can add things like you can add salt salt as also doesn't react with water very well and it gives a really cool bubbly effect you just have to let the salt dry on it and then you just scrape it off it's a very cool effect on watercolor and you can also do other things like you can take um, plastic wrap and smoosh it in and it'll give you a, a really nice kind of wavy effect stuff like that so you know you could try some of those things I think that will be cool so that's your Inuit art project I, I know this no longer really looks like Inuit art but it kind of did come from that starting place so take a look at this artist and look at all her owls and fish and see if there's something that really appeals to you that you could do and then think about using this ombre effect think about the color wheel and how you can make the colors go like match together and go from one shade one gradient to another and if you want to try some kind of effect on the outside hand sanitizer has 70 percent alcohol at least this one did and it'll work just fine for that effect or i do have lots of salt at the back of the room if you want to try a, a salt effect it's pretty cool as well and that's it i can't wait to see what you guys do